Uh, shifting focus a little bit, staying with Western Sydney though, one of the local Parramatta pubs, the Woolpack Hotel, is where the Wanderers fans march starts each home game. And Jerome Pollens, one of the defenders, is a regular there on a Thursday night in the pool competition. And our very own Chad Gibson caught up with him. The last two years haven't been great for me. I wasn't happy at the club that I've been, and uh, you know I, want, I wanted to find something new in my life, something something good again. And um, yeah, then uh, there was the coincidence that uh, Papa called me, and you know I didn't know what, what what to expect from Australia because you know I only I only heard from from the story of Thomas Broich. I adapted very quick because I like this style, I like the weather, I like the people, and you know in Germany there's a lot of pressure in the football, pressure from the media, pressure from the coaches and uh, here I can be who I am. I think uh, it's, it means everything because when you don't feel good you cannot, you cannot do your best. I think it, it's, it's for, for all the people in the world. If they, if they don't feel good and if they don't feel that they're in a good environment for themselves they cannot do their best and so here I find a good environment for me uh, with a lot of boys from our team and all of them, you know, had their own story that they failed somehow, somewhere. And, you know, at this club with this coach, I think, you know, this coach, he brought us our passion back and our love for the game. And this you can see every week. Chips in by Collins towards Kressinger. Collins, it's a good ball. Collins might try his luck and tease up. Oh, yeah. Not only football is changing, I think the whole life is changing because, you know, in the, in, in the world today, you know, Facebook, all the social media is, you know, it's, everything's visible today. And, uh, you know, as a footballer, I, I, want, I want to give also something back to the fans. A month ago, I had a, I had a video with a Pikachu suit, you know, that, uh, that you know, I appreciated my fans, you know, that, that they are following me and, uh, I don't know, one week later or two weeks later, there were 10 people with Pikachu suits in, in the grandstand, you know, and, uh, you know, it's, it's really crazy and really funny, and I, I enjoy it. I have a lot of hobbies, you know, I, I play guitar. You know, I'm, I'm with my wife a lot, with my friends, with Yusuf Hersey, you know, we have a lot of fun, and we, we discover Australia, yeah, every day. I think about getting an Australian citizenship. I have to call Holger, I think. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's the home base of our supporters and I like it here, you know? I like to be in this environment and playing a bit of pool, winning a bit of money. <laughs> it's fun. Jerome Pollens, who's been a star for the Wanderers, but also a bit of a pool champ as well. So don't take him on if you're down at the Woolpack Hotel in Parramatta. But uh, Harps, he has been a standout. The, the, both fullbacks have been so impressive. And, and also, it's so interesting to hear, he's not the only one talking about how, through Tony Popovich, they've rediscovered their passion for the game as well. Yeah, he's been the Pied Piper, Tony Popovich. has been one of the themes coming out of the West Sydney Wanderers. But uh, Jerome Pollens, for me... Uh, and you have to now talk about level of foreigner because of Alessandro Del Piero uh, and Shinji Ono, Emil Heskey, because of their entry into the A-League stratosphere, you now have to talk about um, level of foreign imports. And at that, uh, on that basis, Jerome Pollens has been the best of his level that's come to the country in this competition um, this season. He's been phenomenal. Uh, Patrick Gerhardt, Melbourne Hart, also very good. But Pollens has been a dynamo. Now, to think that a player like him was... Um, on the bones of his pants, you know, thinking about what am I going to do with my career? It wasn't working out for him at Union Berlin in, in Germany. Um, and he answers this mysterious call from Australia. And only the only insight to Australia was the Thomas Broich story. So God bless Thomas Broich, <laughs> you know, that that story is starting to reverberate uh, and people are starting to, to pick up that yarn and come down and see it for themselves. Because as much as he's enjoyed Australia, uh, by the sounds of things, we've certainly enjoyed watching him play.